Hey guys, welcome back. I thought I would do something a little bit different this week. I know that I said in previous videos that I wanted to talk more about my whole experience being the mum of a trans child and being kind of like an honorary member now of the LGBTQ community. So I thought what better way to do that than to bring in the help of my best friend who happens to be a single gay dad. I thought that we could talk about both of our experiences and just kind of give you guys a little bit of insight into our lives, our friendship and all of that. So we're gonna be addressing some questions that we got over the last few weeks. I hope you guys enjoy. So this is Matt. <laughs> Hi guys. Question one. Have you replaced Jonathan with Matt? The answer is yes. <laughs> um, the answer is no, obviously not. Yeah. It's almost, a, well, it is offensive. Yeah. Actually, yeah. it is. I'm not saying that to be mean, but it, it is almost offensive. It's like, ask, if, it's like if you were to ask me, do you find your brother attractive yeah, or like are you attracted to your yeah. like it that's how it feels for me i'm like i just think it's so small-minded as well in like 2024 that you can like not be friends with a male or a female i know and like and especially in this dynamic the way that we are like i am gay like you're a straight <laughs> yeah. woman like, yeah you know what i mean it's, 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 it's not gonna work our types are very different they are in they, case you were wondering they are. They're so different, yeah. so there's just no way. I think people are used to seeing me with Jonathan. Obviously, I get it, but he is my husband, the father of my children, and Matt is like my... It is, it's like a mum friend. Like, we have everything in common. We both have I'm kids. I'm your husband. Yes. Yeah. My brother yeah. from another mother. Yeah. My sister from another mister. Exactly. thing is we do completely normal stuff as well as like what two friends, whether they're two males, two females, male and female, we do like yeah. normal stuff together. But we are bonded like because of our experience through school and, and the kids. kids. Yeah. yeah, having raising kids. The problem that I had with this comment is that it is at its core homophobic. And I think, you know, I'm I don't wanna upset anyone i get that people don't they come from all walks of life and some people just don't have experience in that but mm. it is offensive to say just because he is my best friend and he is my mum friend and i know that people don't get that but matt does everything that a mum does and more i would say like he raises his children he's like he has three that are similar ages to me um he does more than I would say most mums that I know. It's true. Um, and so I think that is why that rubs me up the wrong way. And also people telling me that, you know, first of all, telling me what I should and shouldn't be doing. I think that's rude anyway. But equally just that idea that a woman has to have female friends only. Matt's got friends that are also gay yeah, and some like gay dad friends and I have got female friends as well. At the core, we have just got this like connection that I don't have with anybody else, like any other friends. And we always had that from day one. It yeah, was really obvious. Literally from the day we met. Yeah. We were like and the same. And I think same. we were both searching for that as well. I think that's the thing because someone outwardly looking in can always give their opinion and say that you know well, why don't you have mum friends and it's like oh actually there was a long period of time where I mean I'll speak for myself but like I had a couple of friends but I was still very lonely and I still felt that I was lacking that connection with someone. Me too. Yeah and it's like so yeah. I, I feel like when people say that because we did feel that way and yeah. then we found each other it can feel almost offensive yeah and it's like it it, and we are protective of our friendship because we love each other and we're like best mates like yeah. I couldn't imagine my life without you same yeah um, <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so, um, I could I yeah, could yeah, imagine yeah. my life without just kidding. get out um so yeah <laughs> no, I think that's true. that's the thing that is can be a bit triggering sometimes because you have been really lonely and I've, I've felt yeah. really lonely and it's like now we have that it's that's like, a good point yeah it's like no actually just because I don't have a vagina doesn't make me any less of a friend to yeah. her 
you know, because of that. And does it mean that it's sexual? No, and also like, come on. Gross. Like, yeah, do, you, do you know what I mean? It's, and I've said it many times, I've even said it a couple of times in comments where I've like been like defensive of you, like you wouldn't say that if I was a female. Yeah, no, and you it, wouldn't. They, they just wouldn't, people just wouldn't, and it's so close-minded yeah. and so small-minded. But also, as I've said before, it says more about them people than what it does us, you know? Yeah. Like, um, what I don't get is that for years, and this was like well documented as well, Jonathan had relationships, well, this is gonna sound bad, relationships with women, but he did, he had friendships with other straight women. Yeah. So that's women that are like, he's in, he is attracted to women, they're attracted to men. So that's mm. even more like, if you wanna look at it that way, a risk. I never looked at it that well, way. I think it's because you're secure in your marriage. Like, yeah, I mean, like, that also, too. I, I question sometimes when people write these comments and I get it, like people can sit there and they say what they want to say because it's not face to face. So this is a big one. The types of different reactions that we get. As in on social media. So on when you post media. a video and I'll basically, so we, we sometimes we do things where Anna may post the actual video and then I'll right. do the bloopers or something like that. Yeah. But in essence, it's the same yeah. kind of content. Yeah. Um, but my reactions and my comments and DMs are completely, diff vastly different compared to yours. And yours are mainly focused on, well, where's Jonathan? Why do you never do yeah. content with Jonathan anymore? And yeah. you know, it's, and I just don't get that. Like, I feel like my followers who are probably they, a larger audience, probably on the LGBTQ yeah, side, definitely, maybe, maybe. Definitely, 100%. Um, yeah, just a little bit more accepting of the fact that we are just friends. Yeah. And there's nothing more they to it. They get it. it. Yeah. It's like they never question it. They're just, in fact, some of them I have seen have shared like, oh, I have, like, I miss this because, you know, I have this yeah. with my best friend and we live mm. further away yeah, or yeah, like yeah. things like that. Um, whereas mine are more, where's your husband? What have you done? It's a lot of anger, I think. Yeah. It's quite angry. People leave quite angry comments on yours. And I get it if you're, you know, used to seeing, I don't know, but I, I get it and then I don't get it because part of me is like, yeah, okay, you're used to seeing, but it is a different relationship. It's not a sexual relationship. So, and if it were, I don't know, I don't know anyone that would be that public about it either. No. I feel like you'd want to keep that a secret maybe. No. I don't know, maybe yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that is what's going on yeah. here. We're just yeah. <laughs> shrouding it in LGBTQ yeah. stuff. Yeah. But no, um, and also equally, and I know that people are gonna not like when I say this because they don't like when I bring it up, but um, Matt is a massive... Um, <laughs> Guy. <laughs> Matt is a huge help when it comes to my parenting of a queer child because I don't have experience. You know, okay, it's different. Obviously, my child is trans. Matt's not trans, he's yeah. gay, but... I feel like it's all under the same it's umbrella. The, yeah. yeah, and so there are similarities. There's obviously discrimination. There's all sorts that come along with it. Um, and even things, things that you couldn't even probably think of unless you had lived the experience of being... Like, there's so many nuances and, like, like tiny little things that you would never think of um, that I'm not really ready to talk about yet, but where Matt's been so helpful just because, I don't know, I just think it's really amazing to show, even just to show my children a different sort of family, like yeah. that it's not just yeah. like the mum and the dad and two kids and a dog, you know? Mm. <laughs> like, I just, I think it's so, and that's why I think it's so amazing what Matt does, like but showing. I think that works both ways because also I I find that so like heartwarming as well that my kids can come around here and just be themselves and they're not like the gay dad's children. And yeah, I feel I like, like I have that a lot at school mm. and like they yeah. come around here and they just are my kids. Yeah, you know, that's true. and you accept them completely for that. It has nothing to do with their parents. Yeah, you know, I and mean, I don't know how you could like how. You would even. Yeah, I don't know that I've ever experienced that in a, in a negative way, but I feel like it was very much like, um, a, like I've said this to you before, it's a bit of a... You're like a token. Yeah, it's a bit, and it's like a novelty. Yeah. Like when it first happens, it's a bit of a novelty, so everyone wants to be your friend, and that slowly tapers off, um, and you find yeah, the it's, people that are supposed to be in your life. You but know? it's so weird, because obviously I don't have experience 
like that's not my experience but I can still relate because mm. of what we do for a living I feel yeah. like when we first join any kind of social circle it's like oh they're the youtubers or they're the but I think you get you know, that because they'll have a deny and completely deny that they even know you when they probably follow you <laughs> and watch every single video yeah, maybe. or or yeah they've just got like this issue because they don't understand yeah. it as well I think that's a lot of, yeah. a lot of it because I think getting to know you guys now is so different to what People but it's, think that it is, you, know? But you know what? Like we all judge, yeah. like we all do that before. I remember when I first heard, well, that was before I'd met you, but I first heard about you guys joining the school and I had like this image in my head. Can you tell them what the image was? It was Cam. I feel like it's quite, it's quite, it's quite offensive. <laughs> no, but I went to You've stupidly. You older, older parents, didn't you? Yeah, but I also went to the only like representation that I'd seen on TV, which is actually stupid, but it is something that we all do. So I thought of Mitch and Cam from Modern Family and I had this picture in my head that- Which is really accurate actually. It's really not at all. But I had this image in my head that, that um, they were gonna be like that, which is ridiculous because <laughs> was like the only gay family that I could I don't know anyway that was not it and I was obviously proven wrong but it's the same thing it's like we all do that we all kind of judge before and we shouldn't do it but I think it's just part of human nature everybody it? does yeah. it to an extent um, and I think also a lot of it is I think the comments and stuff like that some of it comes because not all of it is nasty no it's I not I think some of it is curiosity think... because they don't have that experience in their life so yeah. you may have a person that's asking because they're genuinely curious and they don't have the experience of having a gay friend so yeah. they can't understand how that would be i don't yeah. want to say normal but that's the only word i could say yeah. it, they don't want it, they don't understand how that could be normal to have a gay best friend who's yeah. a male or a gay best friend that is a woman and they can't because it's in their mind you're just a girl and a boy exactly you know and i, I just feel like that i feel quite sorry for people like that i know? know and actually i mean i have never i'll just from my own experience, I've never, maybe a tiny bit, but I've never, re I haven't really ever had a friend relationship with a straight man. Um, so I kind of get where that comes from. I don't think just, society allows for that, do they? Not really. I, I think there's always like but that. But it do. is possible, right? Like, as in, <laughs> I just don't I feel like people are just people at the yeah, end of well, the day. I'm friends with. Like with straight men, so and you're friends with gay men, which yeah. is more, is that not more of a? Yeah, I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let us know your thoughts below. I'm sure you'll have plenty of them. <laughs> <laughs> and be sure to follow us on all of our social media, which we will link below. We will. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.